Have I taken up good preparation for GATE 2023 to get a desired dream rank? Why I am forgetting everything that I have studied so far for my GATE preparation? I feel that I haven't solved enough questions from specific topic and I'm not confident if the questions comes from those topics, how I am able to solve those questions in the final day. How the overall question will be for GATE 2023? Will it be very tough? And if it is very tough, how I am able to get a good good rank? So all of these things I know is going into your mind just before the GATE exam because GATE exam has arrived. It will start from the first week of February. And before GATE exam, whatever the 10 date is remaining, I know all of this concern, all of these thoughts, all of this nervousness, you know, stressful days that you all will be going through. And this is very natural. This is very common uh, for all aspirants who are preparing for GATE and who are serious about GATE exam. Even if you have taken a very good uh, preparation for GATE, these kind of thoughts will be coming into your mind and it will make you feel nervous, tensed, stressful. And I personally have experienced all of these things many times during my GATE preparation. So that's why I thought let's analyze about all of these things detail in this video and I'll get to share my experience also and give you some tips or suggestion how you can deal with all of this situation and be in a confident state of mind for your final day for the gate examination. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned till the end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. So the first thing that is coming into your mind, I know that will be that you are not able to remember everything that you have studied. And this is very common among all the aspirants of any competitive exam. Even the person who will top GATE 2023 for any discipline, he also has the same kind of concern that he is not able to remember everything that he have prepared for the last one year. And this is something that I have experienced throughout my life whenever I prepared for any exam. So irrespective of whether it's a GATE exam or ISRO exam or when I have prepared for my PhD entrance test also, I had this similar kind of experience that I should think that I have forget many things that I have prepared for the last couple of months. But do you know why this happened? This happens because now you are trying to remember all the topics of the GATE syllabus together. Now there might be 10 to 12 subjects that is there in the GATE syllabus and in each syllabus or each subject there might be 10 plus topics. So you are trying to remember 100 plus topics together and obviously that's not possible. Obviously it's not possible for you to remember this huge volume of topics together at the same time. But on the final day when you will reach to the exam hall, receive the question paper and start solving questions one by one, then your whole focus will be on a particular question. Then you will find that you are easily able to recapitulate the concept that you have studied when you are focusing on a single question. So please don't dwell in your mind that you are forgetting everything that you have studied. It's very natural and very common for all the aspirants. Have faith on your preparation and obviously on the final day, on the right time, when you'll be focusing on a single question, you'll be able to recapitulate everything that you have studied and solve the question properly. The next common concern that might come into a student's mind is that you haven't solved enough questions from a specific topic of your GATE subject. That's why you are not confident whether you'll be able to solve a question that will come in the final day from the same topic. Now, there is no specific benchmark set of questions available for GATE preparation. You can solve thousands of questions from a specific topic, but there might be some other thousands of questions that you can't solve. So it's a never ending thought that how many questions you should practice because you can't solve all the questions that is available or that is possible uh, from a specific topic. So that's why you shouldn't think about all of these things. Rather, you should think like this, that from a specific topic, you have gained enough knowledge during your preparation. You have solved few questions. You have understand the theory behind it. And now that knowledge that you have gained from the preparation, that will help you to solve any new question that will come in your final and also why you are thinking the question will only come from the from the topics that you haven't practiced well so it might be it can happen that no question comes from the specific topic and all the questions comes from those topics where you are well prepared so then whole exam will be really good because you will be solving questions from those topics where you are really confident enough and even in the worst case if the question comes from those areas or those specific topics where you haven't prepared well you don't need to worry about it because you don't need 100 out of 100 or you don't need to solve 65 out of 65 questions to get into good IITs and IIC. Even on average, if you get 70 odd marks, 
you can easily get into IITs and ISC for your MTA. So that's why don't think about uh, those specific topics where you haven't prepared well. Rather for the next 10 days, focus on the areas where you are really prepared well and be confident that with that knowledge that you have, you'll be easily get, in, uh, get 70 odd marks and get into top IITs and ISC for your MTA. The next common concern among the students mind is how the question paper will be. Will it be very tough? And if it is really tough, how I am able to solve it and how I will get a good rank. Now this year IIT Kanpur will be setting the question paper and traditionally they are not well known uh, for setting up a tough paper. They used to set up moderate paper and if you look into 2015 question paper, you will easily get a pattern of how the, how the question paper they, they used to set. Even if the question comes tough, it's actually a blessing for you if you are someone who is a serious aspirant and prepare really well for GATE 2023. Because if the questions are easy, someone who have prepared 60% of the GATE syllabus he or she will be easily able to get through the questions from their intuition or some kind of intelligence level. If the question paper is tough, then only the one who have prepared really well for the GATE examination will be able to achieve a good GATE rank. Because those who haven't prepared well, he or she can't be able to solve those tough or tricky questions. Because tough question or tricky question demand your good or solid understanding of the subjects. And that is only possible if you have, you know, prepared for GATE really well for all the subjects. So that's why a tough question paper actually increases your probability of getting a good GATE rank. And also if the question paper is tough, the highest marks won't be that much. And on average, if you get 55 to 60 also, then also you'll be able to get a very good GATE rank and you'll be, you'll be able to get into good IITs. So overall, if the question paper is tough or moderate, that is actually blessings for you if you are someone who have prepared really well for GATE 2023. And finally, you might be thinking whether your overall GATE preparation is well enough to achieve a good get rank. Uh, so there is a famous quotation by Nelson Mandela that it always seems impossible until it is done. And it's true for competitive exams like GATE. Uh, because we all are from tier 2 and tier 3 colleges. So that's why how well we have prepared. We always feel that we won't be able to solve those questions uh, that is set by IITs and ISCs. That doubt will be always into your mind because uh, you know we, we don't have that much of confidence in, in, inside us that will feel that we have taken a very good preparation, our basic basic is very strong, so that's why we'll be able to solve any question. So that won't happen, it's a very natural thing that we will feel uh, that maybe, you know, our preparation is not good. And that's why it always seems impossible until you crack the GATE exam. So till you achieve a good GATE rank, you always feel tensed, you always feel, uh, you know, doubtful, insecure, and that's very natural. But I will say there is no perfect preparation for GATE. How well you have prepared, there is always some scope of improvement that is there for you and it's true for everyone who have prepared for GATE 2023. So don't worry about all of these things, have trust on your preparation. So whatever you have studied for last one year during your GATE preparation, whatever knowledge you have gained, have trust, have faith on those things and have confidence inside you that with that knowledge that you have gained, you will be able to solve all the questions that will come on the final day. It might be tricky, it might not be that easy, you will obviously stumble a bit, but at the end of the day, with, with your try, with your effort, you will be able to solve enough number of questions that will give you a good rank. Uh, so there is a famous quotation by Bill Gates that dots will be connected somehow, have faith on karma or God, whatever you believe. So I'll again say that whatever you believe, destiny, karma, God, so just believe in that and you know, have trust on it that whatever the hard work that you have done for last one year, that will somehow pay off, the dots will somehow connect, you know, somehow you'll be able to solve all the questions with all the knowledge that you've gained uh, so far. And at the end of the day, all will be well and you'll be able to achieve a good GATE rank. With this positive note, I'll end the video here. I hope this will be helpful for all GATE aspirants who will be appearing for GATE within a week's uh, time period. And if you have liked this video, please like uh, it and share this video to all your friends who are also preparing for GATE. And let me know if you have any comment, uh, if you have any doubt in the comment section. So I'll, I'll try to answer them. And if you are new to this particular channel, again, I will say, uh, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.